Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here with theautomationblog.com and in today's video I want to show you how you can actually use ladder logic inside function blocks in Connect the Components Workbench and the Micro 800. So let's take a look at the computer here and I just think this is really odd. It's kind of cool but it's also odd to me. So let's take a look. So here I'm inside of our function block program and I'm going to put a left power rail, a right power rail, and I'm going to put a couple of uh, direct contacts in here and I'll use, uh, let's see, let's use inputs two and three. All right, there's two. Let's put another direct contact in here. And we will choose input number three. There it is. And then a direct coil. And we'll make that output number five. Yeah, we'll use five. Let's see, there we go. And now we can wire them together just like they were function blocks. Okay, let's go ahead and download and test this. All right, let's go ahead and test it here. We need input number two and input number three to turn output number five on. And there it is, it's on. And if we release them, it turns off. And that's it. That's how you can use the ladder logic inside of function blocks in CCW in the Micro 800. And I don't know, I just thought that was odd. So if you found that helpful, or at least entertaining, then please give me a like. And if you want to know about my future videos, please subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to learn everything you need to know to create real function block diagram programs, um, then check out my training course over at nano-basics.com. And if you'd like to support me and help me bring you more free videos and free blogs, and take all the ads off of my both my blog and all my videos here on YouTube, then why not consider making a monthly pledge of $1 over at patreon.com forward slash automation. And until next time, peace.